All right, guys, let's take a look at how to find the area underneath the curve. We're going to find the area under the curve x squared from x equals 1 to x equals 3. And you'll notice that it's kind of a weird shape, right? Because, all right, so this part is straight, this part is straight, this part is straight. But this boundary here is curved. So finding this isn't going to be just simple geometry. We're actually going to do a little bit of calculus. In this video, I'm going to show you just the mechanics of how to do it. Later on, we're going to talk about why this works in something called the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. But right now, we want, I want you to get the steps, the mechanics down perfectly, and we'll get into this. So we start off with y equals x squared. And we're going to write this integral sign. It looks kind of like, like, a, like a stretched out s. And I'm going to put the numbers here, the high number, the 3, I'm going to put up here. And the low number, the 1, I'm going to put over here. And then I'm going to write x squared. And then I'm going to write dx. And we're going to talk about in some of the future videos and some of the future worksheets what that means. For now, just go with it. And we're going to, we'll, we'll explain why and we'll explore it in a lot of depth in some of our upcoming videos and worksheets. So here's what we do next. We're going to do the antiderivative of x squared. And that's going to be 1 third x cubed. And I'm not going to worry about plus c. We're going to find out why later on, but we're not going to even do the plus c. We're going to do just 1 third x squared from 1 to 3. Take a look at how I write that. Then finally, we're going to plug in 3 into x. So we do 1 third times 3 to the third minus one third times one to the third. Or we get one third times 27 minus one third times one, which is just one third. So we just get nine minus one third. Uh, and that can be, you can write that as, a, as an improper fraction as 26 thirds. So that's how to do it, and now we're going to practice just these mechanics on a few problems.